Praise the Lord, beloved. I hope you're doing well today. Welcome, welcome once again. My name is Veronica Ndongo of Game Changers. And this is your favorite TV station, Pacific Waves. And we are so blessed that God has given us this opportunity to be able to share the word, to be able to share uh, his goodness, to be able to share in his faithfulness. And so I believe that today God is going to bless you. I believe you've been experiencing a wonderful week, a wonderful day. And I want to believe that that is not your highest moment or your highest place. You can, God can take you higher. God can take you, you know, to places that you are still in your plan, are still somewhere, you know, still coming up your dreams. God can still help you there. And so let me uh, start by introducing the word for today where I'm sharing about our Father in heaven. So we just recently celebrated Father's Day. And it's amazing that in the prayer of Jesus, he starts by saying our Father in heaven. And that's in Matthew chapter number 6, verse number 8. That's number 9, sorry. And then he says, this is then, is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, may your holy name be honored. In other translations, it says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. That's the King James. NLT has a way of saying it. They amplify it. Who amplifies it? And it talks about the Father in another dimension. But we are going to be sharing from my translation today. And it says, Our Father in heaven. Now, Jesus was talking about our Father. We just celebrated Father's Day. And for those who have lost their dads, maybe through death, or maybe they never got to experience a father's love growing up, we have nothing to change about that. But there's something we can do as Jesus is giving us this idea of our father. He's not saying about my father. Remember when God refers to Jesus, he says, my son in whom I'm well pleased. There is no scripture that says our son. God never addressed Jesus as our son. But then, here is Jesus saying our father. So in my prayer, I'm, 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 I'm looking at it like, oh, so probably I should just say our father, not my father. Because our father makes me feel like I'm sharing. It's a, it's a big family. It's a big uh, community. It's uh, people of all races. It's our father who dwells in heaven and you know he dwells in us through the holy spirit when jesus left he said i'm not going to go and leave you like that because jesus came as the incarnate of the father father in the flesh and then when it's time for him to go he says i'm not leave you as orphans i'll send you a helper uh, that's a lesson for another day but then he talks about our father in his prayer that we acknowledge him as our father we acknowledge him as uh, as, as as a lord now here is the thing when preaching sometimes come to us, they do not come across as a relationship with the Father. It comes across sometimes as a religion. Now, God did not form man to form a religion. God formed man so he could have a relationship with the man. Now, religion is man-made. Relationships are God-made. I will say that again. Religion is man-made. Relationships are God-ordained. That is why when God gives us children, it's him giving us. We relate with the children. We relate with our parents. We relate with our sisters. We relate with our neighbors. God-ordained relationships. But then, when Jesus is talking now about Father here, he talks about a relationship. Father who is in heaven, but we are relating with him as a father. Our fathers on earth probably did not give us a good picture of fatherhood, but our father in heaven gives us a perfect picture of fatherhood when he shares the story, remember the prodigal son. Now one of the things I like about that book, that all other things, you know, the, 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 the son wakes up and says, Father, give me, you know. He was, give me, give me, give me, give me. You know how some, some kids are like, give me, give me. I want, I want, I want that. You go to the store. Mommy, I want that. Daddy, I want that. I want that. I want that. Can I buy? Can you buy me something? Can you buy that? Can, you know, they want everything. And so he came to a place where he wanted everything that pertained his name. 
And you remember the, the last uh, message I preached was about the will, God's, the will of God. And so it was the will of the father for his sons, the both of his sons, to inherit what he had. It was in his plan. It was in his will. It was in his uh, mind. It was in his future. Like, oh, this, my sons are going to inherit all this. And it is shown where when the big, the big brother comes and says, well, I've been here. You've never uh, slaughtered even a skinny goat for me. And the father said, oh, this is yours. So the father really intended on sharing what he had. So the, 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 the boy goes and says that I want my stuff because I think I'm able to take care of myself. I think there's too much limitations when I'm here. You know, sometimes we feel like uh, when we have our fathers, there's too much limitations. They 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 wanna punga hair, wanna to wanna to kazia hair, wanna to finia break. Rota fanya kitivia na finia break. Rota kwenda na ya na finia break. But we do not know that the covering of a father is more important than the presence that the father can give you. The covering talks about the blessing. Now, our father who art in heaven, let's go back to the prodigal son. So he takes all that is his, goes to our place, spends it all, finishes everything, and, and wipes everything that was crumbs. He even ate all the crumbs, ate and, and ate the crumb. And there was nothing left to show that there was something that could show that this guy used to be somewhere up there. There was nothing. And nothing to show. And then afterwards, guess what? He says, I will go back to my father. He has servants. And here I am eating with the with pigs, with the swines. I'm, 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 I'm living a miserable life. I'll go back and say, Father, forgive me. Even if I can be one of your servants, one of your hirelings, I do not dispute. At least so that I can have food and I can have a place to live. The Bible says, since the day the boy left, the father would look from far. He used to look. He would look. He would look and say, oh, my son. Oh, my son, he will look. I guess he, even the, his appetite went down. He, when his boy was having fun out there, the father was not enjoying life because in him, it's like there was someone who was dead. It's like someone had, you know, had been snatched from him at a very prime age. And so the boy comes and the father is the first one to spot him. Look at that. In a place where he had servants, in a place where he had another son, the father was the first one to spot him and say, isn't that not my son? And then when he came closer, yes, that was his son. And he said, slaughter for him. Give him the best apparel. Let him wash himself. Like, dress him well. Let him have a party. We are going to celebrate because this my son that was dead is now alive. And he shows a very good picture of a father. A father who is forgiving. A father who is loving. A father who is caring. A father who is giving. Not only for giving, but also giving. He gave again. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Not only did he forgive us our sins, he gave us his son. Look at that. And so he, 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 Jesus is giving that example, and, and it's like a parable, but that shows the, the, the heart of our Father who is in heaven. It shows the heart of the Father that we call uh, uh, God. You know, He has many names. I, uh, there are many tribes that call him different names. He, he has different versions to how you call him. Maybe he's, he's Gai or Mulungu or, you know, depending on where you're coming from. Yasai. Huh? And God, him being the father, you know, if you relate to him as a father, there's that sweet fellowship. There's that sweet relationship that emits from that. And then God, 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 God shows himself there as a father, our father who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Now, there's something I want to point out. Look at the son, um, Esau, and, uh, and Jacob. You know, he goes to ask for the blessing. The father blesses him. Doesn't give him anything. Nothing. The father does not give him anything. He's the one who gave the father stew. And the father ate. Released a blessing. And then he left. The prodigal son asked for things and left. So one thing in common, both live, but they live with different things upon their lives. One lives with goodies, one lives with the covering, the blessing. One lives with presents, one lives with the presence. Presence, presence. Now, Jacob lives, and then on his way, his name is changing to Israel. 
God blesses him in his uncle's land, Laban. He was blessed beyond. Do you know that amongst his cousins, amongst his, uh, his peers, he was so blessed that his uncle became jealous. The uncle did not know that this guy from back home, he had been blessed. He, he was working under a covering. Yes, he, he twisted something about it. But even though we say he twisted, look at when, when the mother Rebecca was pregnant, he received, she received a word that the second one will be greater than the first one. She had received that word. So her coming in and, and switching them was not, uh, was not that a woman who wanted to like, uh, you know, lie to their husband or lie to their father of, his, of her kids, no. It was a woman who was putting things in perspective because when they were in her womb, there was a word that was spoken. So she was not just coming up with ideas, let's do this. She was really doing the will of God concerning Israel, Jacob, Israel. And so he goes, he's blessed, he's, he has the covering, you know, all that happened, came back with, with wives, came back with children, came back blessed. He was, he's one of the guys, I think, who has paid the, the highest dowry. He first, the first one was seven years, never went through, the card was rejected. And then the second card went through 14 years, then he got to the love of his life. The things men will do for love. Let's go back to our father. So our father here on earth have given us covering, have done much for them. They, they labor. They, that's, I'm talking about the real dads. We celebrated them the other day, right? We celebrate the ones who, who labor, take us to school. They labor to make sure we eat well. They labor to make sure we, we, have, you know, we have a life. And we know the fathers are the source of life. They are the givers. They give life. They are, they are the source. They are, they are the source from which life comes from. Now, the father in heaven, him being the perfect image of a father, you know, the fathers here cannot be the perfect image because every man has their own shortcomings regardless. But him that's earth has, he's not, he cannot be blamed. He cannot be, you know, you cannot uh, say, oh God, he is. He, he is the perfect image. Can you picture yourself walking under the covering of our Father who art in heaven? The omnipresent God. Not only is he in heaven, because the Bible says his, his footstool is on earth. He sits there, reigns, but his footstool is on earth. So he, he is here. His reign is here. He still has power. Even though we may see sometimes he's late to do things, but his timing is best. He's never late. He's in time. He might seem chronologically, you know, late, but never late. He comes in time. According to us, late, but to him in time. Oh, God, I wanted to be married five years ago, but was that in what he wanted? Is that what the father wanted? Was that what he wanted, really? Oh God, I will not serve you anymore because this ABCD. He remains to be God. He remains to be our Father. But then, we may not be His sons. He doesn't cease to be our Father, but we can cease to be His Son. Now, when you look around in the social media and all that, it is saddening to see what people are talking about Christianity. Sometimes I feel... The people who have the boldness to talk about men and women of God, to talk about the church in a negative way, probably in their upbringing, they never had an encounter with the God of their father, the God of their mother, the God of their forefathers. Because when you look at the Bible, the way they revered the God of their fathers was so with high esteem that if he was a generational God, that they would never desire to have another God but the God of their father. So we have a generation where people are walking away from God and they are talking about God the way they want or the servants of God or the church ridiculing because they have never been at a place where they experience a relationship with God. They have never been at a place where they experience the love of God the Father because any person who has been in an encounter with God the Father Regardless of what happens out there, they would never ever be speaking when people speak. Because they already know, thus people do not describe the Father. 
those the actions out there do not define who the father is. The actions out there do not define who the father will be or was. You know, he remains to be our father. But then we may cease to be his sons if we do not walk in his will. As I come to the end of the message today, I believe that God has ministered something to you. You probably have been battling about, you know, you know, I've had people say we left the church but we did not leave God. How about God is a God of fellowship? How about God wants us to congregate? He says, don't be like others who do not come together. Because God is a God of relationship. We are a big family. As we learn to forgive, because when we, it says, we, I, I left the church, I did not leave God, then it means I have unforgiveness in me. And when you go down in that scripture, it says, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So if I left with an unforgiving heart, if I, I backslid it because I was unforgiving, woe unto me, it's not upon that person. I want to put out a call unto you that is listening to me, that knows that your heart has moved away from the father. Remember the prodigal son when he left, the Bible says he waited. The father waited, waited, waited. He looked and he was the first one to spot the son coming back. God already sees your heart. He sees your pain. He sees the betrayal you had to go through. Yet he says, forgive and come back to me. He is full of mercy. He is forgiving. He is caring and he will take you into his loving arms. Don't you desire to have a relationship with a father who is not just a father of a tribe, a father of a community, but a father of all that has life? God bless you as you make this prayer after me. Say, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, I come to you in need of forgiveness. You have always remained my father, even when I have strayed away. I release myself to you to serve you, to live for you, to have fellowship with you. Teach me your ways, O oh Lord. Amen. Amen, amen. See you next time. God bless you. God bless you. The easiest and most convenient way to send money from UK, EU, US, Canada, and UAE to Africa, Asia, the Caribbean, and Latin America at a great rate with fast transfers to mobile money wallets on popular networks, use Tap Tap Send, the best app to send money from your smartphone anytime. We are giving you an extra $20 bonus for sending any amount above $50 on your first transfer. Then use the promo code Kiari Prestige to claim the bonus. You can send directly to recipient's bank account or MPESA number. Join thousands of people worldwide who use Tap Tap Send app. It's simple. Tap Tap and Send. Our NMLS ID is 2108069. 2108069. First things first, go to App Store or Play Store and download Tap Tap Send Money Transfer app and you are ready to go. Remember to use the promo code Kiari Prestige to demand your bonus. Tap Tap Send. Easy, simple, and fast. You are watching Pacific Waves Television USA, a place of nourishment. Pacific.